Hello guys, welcome to Lead Electrical Academy. Coming to the next topic, the most important topic, time domain analysis of RL series circuit. As we expect the questions from time domain analysis and uh, Thevenin's theorems and Norton's theorem and Superposition theorem, from that theorem you will get one question. And time domain analysis is another question. And uh, from the basics, network reduction technique you will get another question. So basically this first unit from the first unit we can expect two questions and this is very very important. So coming to this topic at t equal to 0 the switch will be closed then the supply voltage is connected to the RL series circuit by applying KVL to this loop always the current flows from higher potential to lower potential minus V plus IR plus L into DI by DT is equal to 0. As we discussed so many times, when the current enters into the positive terminal can be treated as positive, when the current enters into the negative terminal can be treated as negative. So V is equal to IR plus L DI by DT and from this divide this equation with L and di by dt plus r by l into i that should be equal to v by l and this is in the form of dx by dt plus p x is equal to k so this equation is a non homogeneous equation non homogeneous equation so here what is the solution for this one is x is equal to c1 e power minus pt plus e power minus pt integration k into e power pt into dt. The solution for non-homogeneous equation where x is equal to c1 e power minus pt plus e power minus pt integrating factor integration k into e power pt and dt. And this we can see that it is a complementary function and this one is a particular integral. Complementary function means this is a transient response in an electrical terms. Transient response. And the particular integral is a steady state response. Steady state response. What is the p value here? Here the P is equal to R by L and the K is equal to V by L. And substitute here the X value is I now. I is equal to C1 is a constant E power minus R by L into T plus E power minus R by L into T. Integration of K is V by L into E power PT means E power R by L into T into DT and different integrate this equation see integrate this equation so integration of e power x by a is equal to integration of e power x by a is equal to e power x by a divided by 1 by a so e power minus r by l into t into v by l so this is e power r by l into t divided by r by l and here l and l will be cancelled and then e power minus r by l into t e power r by l t that is e power minus x into e power x so that should be equal to e power 0 the value is 1 so c1 e power minus r by l into t plus v by r so this is the solution for this problem. In order to calculate the constants, the constant C1, apply initial conditions. Apply initial conditions. So as we discussed the run the capacitor RC series circuit. So initially the capacitor is uncharged. Here also the inductor is uncharged. Initially the capacitor voltage is 0, 
Similarly, see the inductor current will be zero before t equal to zero. So at t equal to zero, what will happen? The inductor property is run off, does not allow the sudden changes of the currents. Initially, it will starts from zero to rated current. So the current will be zero. So at t is equal to zero, the current value is zero. And then zero is equal to C1 into e power 0 plus V by R. And from this I am got C1 is equal to minus V by R. Substitute here I is equal to minus V by R into e power minus R by L into T plus V by R. So take V by R is common. 1 minus e power minus R by L into T. So this is a total response. V by R into 1 minus e power minus R by L into T. So we can depend on time constant. Time constant is equal to L by R. Substitute here. I is equal to V by R into 1 minus e power minus T by tau. So T is equal to 0. I is equal to V by R into 1 minus 1, that should be equal to 0. At T is equal to tau, what will happen? I is equal to V by R into 1 minus E power minus 1, that should be equal to 0 0.632 times of V by R. At T is equal to 2 tau, I is equal to V by R into 1 minus E power minus 2. The 1 minus E power minus 2, the value is 0 0.865. V by R. Similarly, at T is equal to 3 tau, I is equal to V by R into 1 minus C power minus 3, that should be equal to 0.95 times of V by R. At T is equal to 4 tau, at T is equal to 5 tau. So, 4 tau, the value of current is 0.982 V by R. At T is equal to 5 tau, the value of current should be equal to 0.993 to V by R. Observe that at T is equal to infinity, what will happen? I is equal to V by R into 1 minus E power minus infinity. The E power minus infinity value is 0. I is equal to V divided by R. If you draw the curve between I versus time, at t equal to 0, yes, the magnitude is 0, at we are taking as a v by r as a magnitude, so you should draw a dotted line, horizontal line. As t increases, what will happen? The current is also increases. At infinity point, the magnitude will be v by r. So this is the current through the inductor current through the inductor if you go for the vr is equal to what is vr is equal to i into r so voltage across the resistor is equal to vr is equal to i into r what is i we are getting what is i v by r into 1 minus e power minus r by l into t into r so r r will be cancelled then V into 1 minus C power minus R by L into T. So VL is equal to voltage across the inductor L D I by DT. L into D by DT of 1 minus C power minus R by L into T. R by L into T. Differentiation of 1 will be equal to 0. And L into minus C power minus R by L into T into minus r by l so these two are cancelled this is v is there right s v is also there this is v by r so into v by r so r r will be cancelled then i get got it as v into minus r by l into t so this is a voltage across the inductor the voltage across the inductor. So at T is equal to 0, VL is equal to V. At T is equal to infinity, what will happen? VL is equal to 0. 
uh, e power 0 yes e power 0 is 1 and uh, here we need e power minus infinity yes e power minus infinity value is 0 the characteristics if you draw the voltage across the inductor versus time at e equal to 0 the magnitude of the voltage across the inductor is v and after that as t progresses the voltage across the inductor will be decreases this is an exponential decay and the current through the inductor is exponential rise so this is a normal method